This tugboat pushing a barge carrying jet fuel was the first vessel to travel into the Baltimore Harbor since the deadly Key Bridge collapse last Tuesday. Crews have opened an alternate channel for essential vessels to pass around the wreckage, but say reopening the route completely will take some time. We are talking about tons of steel. We're talking about water that is so murky and so filled with debris that divers cannot see any more than a foot or two in front of them. Crews are hoping to clear two other routes to the Port of Baltimore, a critical hub in the nation's supply chain. As work at the bridge continues, memorials are going up around town honoring the six lives lost. It's very hard for those people, you know, you go to work and you never know if you're going to come back. Some lawmakers are suggesting the owner and operator of the ship should be held liable. But in a federal court filing Monday, the Singapore-based company is denied fault and argued any liability should be capped at $43 million. What this does is it stops all litigation. It consolidates it in this one filing. On Friday, President Biden will meet with officials in Baltimore on the response. At least $60 million in federal funding have been approved for the recovery and rebuilding of the bridge so far. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox News.